Let me go for a quick comment to Federal Labor Minister Gary Johns, former Federal Labor Minister Gary Johns, and to his now the president of Recognise Better Way, one of the no case committees, or in fact now the merged, it is the no case committee. Gary Johns, the Indigenous uh, Australians Minister, she says, she tells us, Linda Burney, we need a voice. We need this voice to do what our own National Indigenous Australian Agency is doing already to tackle school attendance. Your response? Well, I think it's deceitful, Andrew. I, she, surely she knows all of those things that you've said. Uh, and, you know, a really good idea was why don't they just go and see the school principal? I mean, they would be interested in this, or the local teachers. Or maybe they can go to the, the uh, Tasmanian Aboriginal Council, which uh, Michael Mansell's involved in, or with the Circular Head Aboriginal Council. And you know the key thing about those two Aboriginal councils? They both say no to the voice. So she's quite deceitful here. There are two Aboriginal councils in Tasmania that are against the voice. And a good idea, why you don't need the national voice, is that you could just go to the local school and work it out locally, as has been done for decades. She's sitting on a giant bureaucracy that could be doing all this like yesterday but she's going around the country giving endless speeches about the voice wanting to do it instead. They either sack all those bureaucrats, admit she's a failure, admit they're a failure. I mean, I think probably the easiest thing is to just get rid of her and get someone to do the job. Now, Bernie is arguing, no, the, uh, the voice is uh, just going to do nice things like, you know, this fixing school attendance. But yet another one of her Aboriginal advisers has emerged saying, no, we're after a much more radical agenda. This time it is Teela Reid. She's a lawyer in the government's own referendum engagement group uh, who says, well, reconciliation effort, F reconciliation, I won't say the whole word, it's time for reckoning reparations and land and she's taken that message to the streets saying the voice will be used to demolish our system. The voice is a journey Gary Johns, who's telling the truth about the, how this voice will be used? Is it the minister or her Aboriginal advisers? The advisers, the radicals. I mean, once you put something in the Constitution, then it's a power that the radicals can use that they would otherwise not have. You know, the parliament right now can act as a damper to the madness of the radicals. But if it's in the Constitution, they will no longer be able to dampen the radicals. That's the danger of this proposition to change the Constitution. I can't help but agree with you, Gary Johns. Thank you so much indeed for your time. Really appreciate it.